And welcome back. It is 642. So you combine a winery with a rhino and you get a rhinery. A rhinery, yeah. That's the name of a recently opened vineyard up in Fredericksburg. It also doubles as a rhino preserve. And our Sarah Costa spoke with the owner about their mission to help protect southern white rhinos. Rhinery. A winery that's also the home to Blake, a four-year-old southern white rhinoceros. The concept came after the owner, Craig Stevens, witnessed a devastating loss. So uh, about six years ago, my wife and I went on safari to South Africa, and two rhinos were poached uh, while we were there. Stevens says they knew they wanted to help. Uh, seeing the military-style surveillance and guards that are around, we realized that poaching is not going to stop, and what can we do in the United States to help rhino conservation? It's what sparked Rhinory. Stephen says he and his wife always wanted to open a winery and having over 50 acres of land for the vineyard became a perfect place for a rhino preserve where guests can sip wine and enjoy Blake from the tasting room or nearby picnic tables. Here we educate people about rhinos. Uh, we give them a unique experience, uh, not only being close to Blake, but we also do rhino experiences where they get to meet Blake and combining that with a great wine experience. Blake is part of the American Species Survival Plan. The SSP works to ensure the survival of threatened or endangered species in zoos, aquariums, or specialized preserves like winery. In the wild, these guys are not surviving past their 20s. Christine Bobko has worked with rhinos for over 30 years at the San Antonio Zoo and Denver Zoo. She says it's a dream job to run her own rhino preservation program. A portion of all of our proceeds, which include our guest encounters and all of our merchandise, all of that goes back to the International Rhino Foundation. And why that's so important is IRF actually supports all five species of rhino. Blake is 4,000 pounds. He eats 100 pounds a day, but still needs to gain 2,000 more pounds before he can have a female partner. He's got a few years until he gets a girlfriend, but uh, we can potentially uh, bring some other rhino in and get a breeding program going. Until then, Stephen says they hope to bring in another male companion and build their rhino population. He's just such a great rhino with a, a great personality that he loves to interact with people and he's he's kind of a ham. So he's he's living a really good life. Sarah Costa, KSAT 12 News.